Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Through the Eyes of an Avatar. This week we're in lovely Borneo, the third largest island in the world and the largest island of Asia. Located just north of Java at the geographic center of maritime Southeast Asia, Borneo boasts the world's largest flower and trees that can reach up to 60 meters in height. And this is all part of Borneo's extraordinary tropical vegetation. Besides the lovely tropical vegetation of Borneo, it is one of the two places in the world where you can find orangutans, which are one of the four great apes surviving in the world. But current estimates are that there are only 20,000 left in Borneo and 5,000 in Sumatra. The main threat to these great apes is habitat destruction by illegal logging and the stripping of the forest for farm oil production. And if this is not stopped, orangutans face extinction in the wild within the next 10 years. World demand for palm oil has increased by 52% over the last five years. With the recent expansion of food industries and industrial manufacturing, palm oil is the world's best-selling vegetable oil and is used for various things you eat every day that you would find at your local supermarket. Indonesia accounts for 1% of the world's palm oil and is a major contributor to the Indonesian economy. In order to change this, we need to shift the economy economy away from destroying the habitat to supporting the habitat. Through ecotourism and getting people to Borneo, we graphically show the locals that people are prepared to pay money to see the orangutans. But this brings us to this burning question. Should orangutans of Borneo continue to be used as a tourist attraction to purchase land to prevent their forests being converted to palm oil plantations? In order to answer this question, I met up with CEO of OFI the Orangutan Foundation International, which sets up tours and employs over 200 locals in the vicinity of Tangjin National Park. I spoke to Enoch Choi. So Enoch, what is the vision of this foundation? Well, uh, we have the vision of saving the environment through tourism. And our plan is simple. We provide a once in a lifetime tour for guests, showing them the real life experiences of orangutans. We show them how they were forced from their homes and now have to live in sanctuaries. So, Enoch, what makes it better for the economy rather than just cashing in on stripping the forest and providing palm oil plantations? Well, we want landowners to see that uh, preserving the forest can reap big cash benefits. A landowner will sell timber because uh, he or she believes there is value in it. But we want to show them that the land can still be intact and still supply a steady income. And those employees who work on the farm or farms could also become employed in tourism and the protection of orangutans. So Enoch, I just have one last question for you. Could this be the way forward in orangutan conservation? Yes, I'm, I'm confident it is. Tourism increases potential for more donations as a portion uh, from the tours are, are given towards conservation and towards the sanctuary and support for the protection of the orangutans. Uh, locals can also see the benefits and, and shift in getting involved because you know that after all our treasure, they are orangutans and we must do whatever we can to protect them. Okay, so thanks Enoch. So this journey has come to an end in Borneo, and in my opinion, the same thing that is threatening the orangutans could eventually save it, and that is human intervention. But from my perspective, I think that with continued support of ecotourism, the orangutans can be saved. The tours educate the people, uh, provides economic growth, and human intervention is the way forward. So I 